Across the past year of pandemic-induced lockdowns and restrictions, we've all had a lot more time on our hands. Conveniently, the lockdown coincided nearly perfectly with the launch of what you might think is the perfect TV streaming service, Disney+. Plus. All of the animation, superheroes and Star Wars that you could hope for. Um, different films have been released there over the past year, including a remake of the classic Mulan, one of my favourites. Uh, only this one is with real people and uh, it's not cartoons and you, you maybe watched it and you thought it was good, but if you're like me, you probably uh, were a bit sad that all the songs were missing. One thing you probably didn't know is that just a few miles from where parts of Mulan, the, this new film, just a few miles from where it was shot in China, you can find re-education camps. Camps for the minor, minority Uyghur people. Up to 1.5 million Uyghur people are estimated to have been detained in one of these camps. And why are they being detained? Well, all evidence points to China undertaking a cultural genocide against the Uyghur people. And it was happening just a few miles away from the set of a Disney movie. The world is increasingly waking up to what's happening in China. Multiple countries have heavily criticized China for the human rights abuses concerning the Uyghurs. As China seeks to exert more control over its inhabitants, a group like the Uyghurs with their own distinct culture, values and traditions poses a threat to ever increasing communist influence. Xinjiang is the province where the Uyghurs are being detained and that's where Mulan was filmed. It's located in the far northwest of China. Those detained here, well, they endure forced labour. They have to work in the, the vast cotton fields. Around a third of the world's cotton comes from Xinjiang in China. People who have escaped the camps tell horrifying stories of, of torture and abuse. The Uyghurs are a Muslim majority group, which forms the foundation of China's rationale for this focus on them. China say they're fighting extremism, yet they haven't provided evidence of extremism that justifies 1.5 million Uyghur detainees in a re-education camp. There is a huge need to pray for the situation, to pray that God would break through and put an end to this continued genocide and for concerted action by global powers to work together to see China's practice end. Maybe you could write to your local political representative and ask what's being done to help put an end to what's going on with the Uyghurs in China. In the meantime, next time you watch the Milan remake, don't forget about the thousands of Uyghurs imprisoned off screen just for being a Uyghur.